have an appointment. Okay, let me just, let's see, let me get my book. Let's see. Um, what was your appointment for? What time was your appointment for? Okay. Yes, I see you right here. Looks like you're with me. Welcome. Um, I can see that this is your first time here. So I'm just going to go over a few things with you first, and then um, we'll get started. So um, what kind of look were you looking for? Okay, okay. Something fun, something casual. Love it. Um, so were you looking for, when you say fun, do you mean more of like a neutral tone kind of fun? Um, like relaxed, or do you mean like colors, pop? Like, Describe it a little bit more to me. Okay, love it, once again. You don't get much of people wanting, you know, vibrant colors, all that stuff. Always just the neutrals. So, refreshing. Okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just get right into it. Um, if you have any questions for me, go ahead and feel free to ask them. Um, I will be walking you through the whole process though, um, showing you everything that I have detailing the process, so don't worry about that. Um, before we get started, would you like anything to drink? We have water, tea, coffee, wine. Um, we also have some cookies. No? Okay. Okay, so if you don't mind, I would first like to put your hair back. the makeup doesn't get in the way of your face or anything um you know get your hair in your makeup um were you looking to get your hair done by the way um we have great hairstylists here as well maybe another day just getting your makeup done for fun yeah okay start off by putting some sunscreen on your face. Um, gotta have the sunscreen. I'm gonna use this set of fill. Uh, 50, 50 SPF. Um, I just like to use set of fill because it is very nice for any skin type, you know, sensitive skin, regular skin. Um, just cause it's very nice, very gentle on the skin. And 50 is a pretty neutral number, I feel. So I'm just going to start off by putting on some sunscreen. And um, then we'll move on to the primer. Always got to put sunscreen. Always got to put sunscreen. This also moisturizes. So that's a plus. their prices now, but love e.l.f. Love their products. Although I'm not a big fan of their concealer, a lot of people seem to like it, but I'm just, I'm not a big fan. But I love their primers and their lipsticks. Okay, so I'm gonna start by using this e.l.f. Uh, blemish Control Face Primer. It does have salicylic acid in it. I like to use these kinds just to make sure that, you know, if you're sweating and your makeup clogs all your pores, you know, throughout the day, um, you're less likely to break out, i found. So I'm going to use this one on you. So 
can use this one on you. I just got it, so it's brand new. Your sunscreen's pretty dried by now, so I think we'll be good to go. Also, though, have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. If you are looking for something, if I can get it out, if you are looking for something more, um, if you are looking for something uh, more full coverage, and then we can sculpt your features back around it, um, and we can bring that undertone back through using blush and contour, but this one, I feel like you don't really need to use those that much. Okay. Sure, we can do the shape tape. So, um, I think I will, I think I will use the brush for this one, because I find that the your concealers, um, using a brush instead of a beauty blender, uh, really, really, um, makes it look more flawless. So I'll be using this Morph brush. It's just a concealer brush. The Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 8B Porcelain Beige. I think that one fits you the best. Okay, so the way I use concealer is I just put it under your eyes and then cover any blemishes and the little area right here in your nose. dark spots, then your nose. Okay. And it is, again, very heavy, so I try not to put that much, or else it'll make you look a little uh, too washed out, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm just going to go in. in with a contour brush, 
but for now I just kind of want to get that face started so I'm gonna do it on your cheeks That's for the bronzer part. Now, I'm gonna go back in with a contouring brush, Sailor Moon contouring brush, and I will kind of define the cheekbones a little bit more because I know you said you want, you know, definition on those. So I'm just gonna, if you could just smile, and I'm just gonna go kind of like around. This is more of a pink toned blush. If you're looking for more of that, like, fake look. Oh. Um, as for the natural toned blushes, I do have the Rare Beauty blush. There it is. I have the Rare Beauty blush. Just a little applicator on your cheeks like that. And then if you want um, kind of a balance in between, I do have two options for you. I have the ColourPop Cheeky Dew Blush. Um, the shade Bubbles. It's kind of a nice balance between. again it is liquid um, and if you're not a fan of the liquid I have this it's all dirty I have this uh, Pacifica blush in the shade wild rose again a nice balance I do like to use this one um, on the nose more cheek because that defines um, your cheeks more. It makes it pretty. So 
so I'm just gonna dab a little on the veil on the apples of your cheeks and I'm also gonna dab a little on your nose um, just to create an, a, a better butt nose effect okay smile and I find that um, you know a little goes a long way with this blush because if you put too much it'll be noticeable. And for this, I am going to use a beauty blender just so we can get that even blend. Smile again, please. Okay. Okay. And for the blush on your nose, I'm going to go in with a brush just blend it out, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna do some fake freckles on you. Um, I think it will just add to the eccentric look you're going for. So I'm gonna use this Lottie Freckle Tent. Um, it's just little and then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. Not necessarily blend it out, but I'm going to kind of dot it with it. Blot it, there's the better word. That way they're not as dark because they do come out really dark. Okay. Okay. I try not to do a lot because when I do blot, beauty blender kind of carries over and creates a little bit more but okay very gently so that it doesn't completely wipe them away as you can see <laughs> okay now I like to do the highlighter before the eyeshadow um no real reason uh, well i like to do the highlighter on the nose and you know just kill two birds with one stone right so i'm gonna go with this rem beauty uh femme pot um it's actually an eyeshadow but i really like it as a highlight so i'm just gonna put it at the tip of your nose right and on the inner corner Real quick and easy. And I'm just gonna blend that on your nose. Just lift my finger. Um, okay. Now, time for your eyeshadow. So I was thinking of using my Sailor Moon color pop. Just because it does have a lot of fun colors. Um, lots of pinks and purples and glittery ones. And uh, I just think that'll fit really well with what you wanted for today. So, if I can find my brush. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to start with the base of this pink shade right here and kind of work around it. Okay, so I'm just going to cover your whole eye in it, um, your whole eyelid, not like up here or anything. Um, I don't really like doing up here. I find it's a clear look if it's just on the eyelid. Just a personal preference for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to start by doing it right on your eyelid right here, so really blend it out. Okay, give it that seamless look. Okay, now I think I'm going to go in with, um, I'm 
to go in with this glittery white shade. And I'm going to kind of just uh, put it in the corner of your eyes. Kind of blend that um, highlight in the corner of your eyes up into it. Very beautiful, by the way. Look at that. Very beautiful. Um, I'm going to go in with this, and I'm actually going to use this shade right here. I'm going to create um, a sort of shadow of an eyeliner. So it's like... Now I'm going to go back in and blend it, kind of blend it inwards on the eyelid into the eyeshadow. This one I'm going to keep, um, it's not that dark, um, I'm just going to keep it so that uh, this layer is more defined. really like, I know it's super dirty, but I really like this Super Lash uh, Mascara for the top lashes because it, uh, it doesn't weigh them down, so it helps keep the curl. be away from that clumpy look. Okay. And then, I find that this one is better for the bottom lashes because it, it's very light and the brush is very small. your eyebrows in some clear gel uh, do your setting spray and then you're free to go so I just have this clear um, it's clear mascara
to have this clear mascara. Oh, brand new, so there's a lot. I'm just gonna kind of get the excess off. Okay, and I'm just gonna reshape your eyebrows and keep them in place, okay? So I'm gonna put them all up first, all the hairs. Then I'm gonna go across the top and lay those hairs. Silly me. Totally forgot about lipstick. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do kind of like a primer for your lips. Um, it's just chapstick. It's this big strawberry lip smacker. I'm just gonna do that. Just to kind of get your lips, you know, so they're not dry. I hate lipstick on dry lips. Feels awful. So. Lime Crime Lip Gloss. Smells like cherries, love it. And it is Juicy Cherry. It's glittery and pink. Love the smell. It smells so good. Okay. Pucker. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now. I'm just gonna spritz your face with this MAC primer or setting spray, what am I saying? Okay, so just close your eyes. Perfect. And let me take the headband off of you. And you're all good to go. You did prepay online when you booked the appointment. So, um, yeah, you're free to go. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, it's been a pleasure to have you, and I hope I see you again.